after the long drought in 2016. Rain finally drops on the land while people are celebrating Christmas. When the assistant warden rides out from the Broom Bird Observatory, she thinks it is just another normal morning. She is not yet aware the track to Roebuck Plains has been taken over by an army. An army of mangrove crabs. The rains bring on a frenzy of activity. And then the plains flood, triggering the migration instincts of the mangrove crabs. It is challenging to move through the grass, so they prefer to take the car tracks. It's fun when there's water on the road, a swim, an easy meal. As long as no one gets in your way. However, conditions can be very difficult during the middle of the day. If you can't find shelter in time, the journey could be finished at any moment. There are lots of challenges waiting. And there are also new friends to meet. Some in unexpected places. Finally, they arrive at the beach in Roebuck Bay. During the next one or two months, the crabs stay in the mangroves. The assistant warden realises for the first time that other creatures in the bay migrate and are dependent on the tides, not only migratory shorebirds. What is all this hard work for? This, of course, breeding. After the breeding season, once again they disappear from the bay. When the assistant warden comes to, it is already the dry season. Was the mangrove crab migration real? Or was it just a dream? Maybe the next wet season will provide the answer. <laughs>